Howdy everyone, welcome to Flow, your 30 day yoga journey. Welcome to day 14. Let's get started. Okie doke, come on down to the ground. We're gonna start today's practice lying on our backs. Yay, yay. Benji can lie down as well, perfect. Harmony. And you can extend the legs out long when you get there. Tuck the chin, lengthen through the neck and just allow your hands to rest somewhere on your body. As you're ready, close your eyes or soften your gaze and allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your hips to get heavy. And we have begun. Start to gently deepen your breath and just notice how you feel. Notice where you're at today. Continue to gently deepen your breath and again, just notice where you are physically today. Maybe some tightness, some soreness, some aches. Take stock, notice your energy. How's the energetic body feeling today? Maybe a little tender, perhaps a little tired, or a little light, joyous, pleased, happy, sad. Start to check in with the emotional body, feeling a little anxiety, stressed. Maybe you're in love. And then just notice what thoughts are forming here as we intend to check in with how we're really feeling, really doing in this moment. Continue to deepen your breath, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Now start to shift your attention from the physical body, the current state of the emotional and energetic body, and the mind, the thoughts that are passing by. Let's acknowledge them by starting to shift our attention to the sound of the breath. And again, I like to think of shifting my attention to the breath as a way of kind of acknowledging it all versus escaping. Using the breath to acknowledge all of it. And then the cool thing is that's when the science of yoga starts to play in with the spirit. By acknowledging the breath, we start to deepen the breath, change the quality of our breathing. And we can literally shift our mindset, shift our body through this process. It's very beautiful in my opinion. Let's start to breathe together. So as you're ready on my cue, here we go, big inhale in through the nose. Then exhale out through the nose or mouth. Inhale in deeply through the nose. Start to rock the head a little side to side, ear to ear, and exhale out through the nose or mouth. And again, breathing in together, deep inhalation. 
And exhale, long breath out. Bring the head back to center stillness. Continue to breathe deep. We're gonna inhale in, reach the arms all the way up and overhead. Walk the heels together, really together, and reach the fingertips so far out as you point the toes. Big full body stretch. Nice, and then slow and steady, let's hug one knee into the chest, then the other. Continuing to breathe deep. And I love this way of entering our second week of this journey together, welcoming every sensation, every truth, whatever we're coming to the mat with each day, being honest and a good host to that sensation, to those thoughts to our energy and then acknowledging it by always coming back to the breath. So often I think it might get construed in yoga practice that we're kind of dismissing the thoughts and then coming back to the breath. I think we're actually acknowledging everything that is by embodying conscious breath. Just a little food for thought. All right, let's start to rock and roll up and down the length of the spine. If it feels great, do it a couple times. If it feels awkward, maybe still do it a couple times. See what happens. And then when you feel good, you feel satisfied, we'll rock all the way forward. Back the truck up to the center of the mat. Spread those fingertips. Sorry, buddy. Super wide like starfish. Again, think of this as like a hand exercise. So really stretch. And let's flow with the breath. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart, look forward. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Close your eyes here, go inward. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. Let's breathe together here. And exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, navel draws up. Continue, inhale, drop the belly, open your heart. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, open your heart. Breathing together here, exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly. Soften the skin of the forehead, exhale, round the spine. And one more time, press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, drop the belly, extend through the crown. Exhale, round, press through the palms, press into the tops of the feet, chin to chest. Good, now send the hips back here. Relax the weight of your heart forward. The reminder here when we are breathing together is you are not alone. So inhale in together. And exhale together. Reach the arms forward, active arms. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're gonna add a little pattern here. So inhale, we rise up, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, through cat, round it back. Hips go all the way back to the heels, child's pose. Continue, inhale, we scoop forward. Exhale, round the back, send the hips to the heels. Inhale, smooth it forward. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, we breathe in together, heart comes forward. Exhale, send it back. Three more rounds, smooth and steady. Nice, the next time the hips are back, stay there. We're gonna walk the hands over to the left side of the mat, pull the right hip crease back actively, breathe in, breathe out. 
Walk the hands through center. Take it to the other side. Pull the left hip crease back actively. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. Walk it back to center. Come up to all fours slowly. Walk the knees underneath the hip points. Curl the toes under. Now walk the hands back to your froggy squat here. Okay. Notice what comes up here. Acknowledge it with your breath. Welcome it in with a nice conscious breath. Stretching through the feet. Maybe some negotiating of the shapes of the body here with your breath. And if you're like, what does negotiating with the shapes of your body mean? Well, I think that's another loving way of saying modifying, exploring, honoring your body and where you're at today. Okay, check it out. From here, we're gonna walk the palms all the way forward to a plank. Try to keep the knees lifted if you can here. Reaching the heels back, hugging the low ribs in, lengthening through the crown of the head so the neck is nice and long. There's a slight bend in the elbows here. And we're here to pause and welcome whatever comes up and greet it with, yes, you guessed it, the sound of the breath. Stay with it for three. You got this. Two. And on one, hips go high and back, downward facing dog. Nice work. And if you didn't make it through all of that, that's okay. Next time. And there will be a next time. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, slowly walk the feet up towards the front edge of the mat. Forward fold. Crown of the head towards the earth, bend the knees, feel that stretch in the low back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, relaxing the weight of the head all the way down. Nice. Now bring your awareness to all four corners of the feet. Find that strong connection that distribution of the weight to all four corners of the feet, the ball joint of the big toe, ball joint of the pinky toe, and the back two corners of the heels. And then from there, bring the hands to the waistline and slow and steady, we're gonna bend the knees and lead with the heart, elbows draw back, rise up to stand. Mountain pose with the hands on the hips. Lift your heart, lengthen through the crown. Feel the strength of your legs, the groundedness of your feet on the earth. And if you can, maybe close your eyes here for just a moment. Notice how you're feeling. See if you can get a little bit longer in the spine. And then if you've practiced with me for a while, you'll know this. But if not, this could be a great moment to really imagine this giant wave of energy coming up from the feet and whooshing up the front of your body all the way up into the stars. And then in the back, we have this opposite direction of energy going down. So we have this upward current of energy through the front of the body and this downward current of energy through the back of the body. Just something to play with here. Finding that sense of balance in between two opposing forces or opposite. And then bat the eyelashes open, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release the arms and draw the shoulders away from the ears. Start to lift the chin all the way up towards the sky as you breathe in. And exhale, chin to chest, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. 
Nice, inhale to center, left ear over left shoulder. Inhale in, heavy in the fingertips. Then drop the chin through center and take it to the other side. Right ear over right shoulder, heavy in the fingertips. One more time, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Draw the shoulder blades together and down. And then through center and to the right. Lovely. Head comes back to center, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Spread the fingertips. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold it down all the way. Standing forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway your version. Nice, long, beautiful neck. And then exhale to soften and fold right back in. Root to rise here, spread the fingertips, take up space, inhale, reach for the sky, strong legs, exhale, take it right back down into the fold, maybe wiggle the fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift, your version, maybe find something new here. And then exhale, soften and fold. Fingertips come to the mat, we'll step the right foot back, just the right foot, inhale, let your heart space shine forward. Take a breath in here. And then on your exhale, lower the right knee to the ground. Pull the left hip crease back. Straighten the left leg. Then come right back through. Lift the right knee. And here we go. High lunge. Inhale. Reach the fingertips forward, up, and back. Breathe. Inhale. Look up. Exhale, release it all the way back down to your lunge. Plant the left toes back. Inhale in here. Exhale to stay. Plank pose. You got this. Inhale in deeply. Exhale completely. Lift up through the upper back body. Reach back with the heels. Crown of the head extending forward. And then we're just gonna step the right foot up from here. So step the right foot up, and now you're in your lunge on the other side. Right hip crease pulls back. Shine your heart space forward to so open up through your chest. Breathe, stretch it out. Inhale in, exhale, lower your left knee to the earth. Good, pull your right hip crease back, straighten through your right leg, breathe. Then slowly roll it forward, lift the back knee, when you're ready, squeeze the inner thighs to the midline. So strong legs here as you reach the fingertips forward, up and back. High lunge. Inhale, carve in line with the nose, lift your chin up. Exhale, slow and steady, take it all the way back down. Step the right toes back to plank pose. Reach the heels back, inhale. Shift forward on the toes, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly, nice and slow. Press into the tops of the feet, press into the pubic bone. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Exhale to soften and release. Bring it all the way back down. Curl the toes under. Press up to plank or all fours. Then send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Turn the toes in here. So the femurs, the top, tops of the thighs, your thigh bones, are internally rotating here. And the shoulders are doing the opposite rotation. They're externally rotating. Now hug your low ribs in and think about that long, beautiful line of energy from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. On your next inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale to shift it forward, step it all the way up. Back to that high lunge. Inhale, we rise up. Deep breath in as you reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, open up, warrior two. Find that alignment, lengthen through the crown of the head, engage your left inner thigh, left toes are turned in. Then keep that front knee bent, right fingertips reach up and back, peaceful warrior. Breathe in. And breathe out, extended side angle, your version. Spiraling the heart up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out to bring it back to your lunge. Plant the palms, step the right toes back, plank. Inhale in, shift forward, look forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Exhale to soften and release. Curl the toes under, press it up to plank. 
Inhale in. Exhale, downward dog, internal rotation. In the thigh bone, toes turned in slightly. External rotation in the shoulders. On your next breath in, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward, step it up. High lunge, here we come. Squeezing our thighs to the midline, lift from the pelvic floor. Inhale, rise up strong. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Again, back toes are really turned in here, so you have that internal rotation in that right hip. Engage your right inner thigh to support that, to find stability there. Good, keep the front knee bent as you send the left fingertips up and back, peaceful warrior. Soften the skin of the face. Breathe in, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, extended side angle, your version. Spiral your heart up towards the sky. Inhale in, exhale, bring it all the way back down to your lunge. Plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Last plank of the day. Inhale in, exhale, lower to the belly or chaturanga. On your inhale, cobra or up dog. Take a deep breath in to open your heart and use an exhale to slowly lower it down. Listen carefully from here, press to all fours and back to that extended child's pose. Breathe. This time we'll walk the palms together here and bring them up and over the head, maybe the back of the head here. And then from here, walk your elbows maybe half an inch forward. Feel that stretch, the tricep, the shoulder. Breathe. And then slowly release the arms. You're going to slide through to your belly. I'm going to mirror Benji here for a slight second. And then nice and easy, we've done this uh, ancient transition before, just kidding, but you're gonna inch over to the left side of your mat <laughs> and then turn onto your right ear, right shoulder, and come to lie flat on your back. Hmm. So you should be laying the opposite direction of how you started your practice. If not, no worries. Allow your hands to rest gently on your belly and take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And let's breathe in together and out together. And then hug one knee <laughs> to the chest and then the other and turn your gaze to look at the video. This is what it's like <laughs> living with Benji, always in my space sharing space with me and I'm very grateful. Okay, you can bring the head back up towards the ceiling, towards the heavens, and just rock a little side to side here if you are not already massaging the low back. And we're gonna close with a little twist, so allow the, the legs to fall to the left. You can rest your hands out in a Texas T-shape, cactus arms, or maybe they just rest gently on the rib cage as you breathe in. And out. And then slowly melting it back to center and allowing the legs to fall to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then slowly bring it back to center. Allow the feet to be as wide as your yoga mat. Allow the knees to come in so thigh bones rotate in. Once again, soften through the belly, the bowl of the pelvis, interlace your fingertips. If Benji let me here, bring your hands behind your head. And this is our closing shape today. Close your eyes and just imagine you're lying somewhere that feels good. See if you can find that place. Maybe it's exactly where you are, depending on where you're practicing, but just recognizing the power of the mind here. Of 
I'm on the hill at Barton Springs in my hometown. Hmm. Way to show up today. Way to integrate some of the yoga philosophy into the physical practice. Coming into the flow by being true to yourself, honoring who you are and where you are today. No matter what is coming through the window or showing up. Thank you for being here. I look forward to the next week of practices with you. Till then, inhale in deeply and exhale to close. Namaste.